death sentence went down difficulty guide. After re-securing the coal fusion engine from the senator's... Ah, my god, scientist's house. Why? I always get these two confused, god damn it. Anyway, now we are doing a little election day, trying to get the elephant's man into the office. So we're heading to uh, Pier 39. That's where one of the trucks will have a voting machine. So that's for the asset I'm gonna buy. I basically don't need anything much here. Of course, I'm probably gonna go for spotter and the key card. And of course, I'm of course running the hacker perk deck. Here, you can basically pass this to this run day one very quickly. But I'll show you um, how to find the correct one. Now, if you play on Mayhem and above, if you look to your left side, this cargo, of course, this cargo ship uh, is blocking off the truck, so you can't see it from this distance. On Overkill below, you can see it, but now I define ourselves. Now there's got to be a lot of guards and Wait, workers. Now, when you climb up Search this area, when you've figured it out, um, the right truck. usually this container will block here, but lucky enough, it didn't block, so can I just take an extra shortcut? And here, um, you want to look at the current container, so I see the green one, but she doesn't have any, so I know the green one doesn't have it. I could be able to jump from here, but unfortunately one of the containers is in the way. And I'm looking for one of the laptops. Here, trying to jump from the gap here is a very risky move. So just uh, take your time, wait patiently, activate your sixth sense. As much as spotter helps you to spot guards, it will not spot the workers or civilians in general. Alright, so, uh, okay, now let's see if there's a computer is that below. Okay, there is. Of course, it's locked behind the door. Luckily, we have a key card, but you can also have a jammer. And some of the workers will have a key card. I can actually drop down here safely. Now, you have at least three uh, names, so. Each of them will go to different location, but will not hit to Washington, so let's actually look. Alright, Avalon, Greenwich, and Hefty. So Avalon, Greenwich, and Hefty um, will not be the one that has the right truck. And any electron door you open uh, will, you can, and if you open from behind it, you'll actually open it for free without using a key card. So we got Avalon, Greenwich, and Hefty. I can still look throughout the uh, this container here, and if you're looking in the containers, you're looking for actually the voting signs, like your vote counts and all that. So of course I did check the green one earlier; doesn't have it. So I know it's not green or blue, and of course it's not Avalon. Greenwich or Hefty. Of course, this is not Greenwich. I know these are not the ones, and it's definitely not Avalon because, of course, they both the blue and the green one doesn't have it. And since this has Hefty, it doesn't have it. The only one is the correct here is the Oni Exports. It's a red color and does not have any names of the computer. And once you do have the correct one, you can place down a jammer and just uh, book it. And a computer can be found many areas in the warehouse. It takes special skills to ninja through a secure warehouse in broad daylight. Great work. Now, let's see if it was worth it. Alright, so um, I got the right truck and almost under four minutes without actually killing anyone. So now we're going to day two of the 
stealth variation. The warehouse on Goose Island. Alright, we're on day two. And just to be clear, if you tag the wrong truck, um, you actually go to the other area on day two, which is the, uh, I forget what it's called, like the, the Ballard Room. I'm not really sure, but you'll go there when you had to do it loud. But for now, I'm doing this stall, so we got the right truck. Now that we're in the warehouse, now we had to uh, hack the machine to favor for Elephant's mayor candidate. And of course, uh, if we uh, stealth this, uh, the elephant won't give us a juicy reward. As for the asset I bought, I bought the ammo bag so I can increase uh, get more ammo for my saw blades. I bought a warehouse ladder so I'm able to climb up the ladder in that area on the right side, body bags. Key card, funny enough, you don't actually need to purchase this key card. And I think for day two, uh, for day one as well, without using the Sixth Sense Ace, you can actually just buy right away without requiring a skill, which is nice. And of course, I have Spotter with me, which is always a, always a blessing. As we begin, uh, when you spawn, you always spawn in this side at the front entrance. Walk behind you, grab a key card, and take a body bag. They will be located in the uh, by the van. Or I'm gonna take him out. So yeah, uh, for day two, there will be at least two blue cops, um, of course you can deal with them, and they don't carry pagers, but another uh, variation which is a little bit unique is when you're doing it loud on day one and you've got the right engine, or I mean, where the voting machine is located by the computer, there will be a police car here and they will have an extra two more um, blue cops, so you had to deal with four of them. And on Mayhem and above, you actually have to locate for a crowbar to open the shipping crates. Okay, let's uh... Okay, that was close. I just want you to like so I don't break the window. Are you sure the call came from here? And the... And the blue cops counts as a, I guess a pager guard, and this will give us enough to see the, uh, checkup guy. Okay, this is a bad spot, I don't want him to see it, so... Okay, this is actually not good, because, uh... Okay, I can't even hide it here, so this is unfortunate. Okay, gotta do it quick. Luckily, I see where the uh, security room is, so just do a sprint jump onto the ladder so you can be able to avoid um, detecting. Headshot this camera operator, which is a civilian. And that's the cameras are offline. By dealing with him, the cameras are offline. So which is nice. Now I'm able to put down that uh, body bag. I like to deploy a body bag case here and head up there. All right, here's one location the crowbar. Of course, you can duplicate the crowbar for more players if you actually time it perfectly. Same apply with key guard, they can be found around the warehouses on both the top and the bottom in this area on the right side. And the, the other security, I guess the security desktop is found on the other side of the warehouse here, along with a few key card spawns. Now when you're up here, be careful, they can still see you. 
Now if you look behind the cage door, you should see either money or a shipping crate. We're going for those. Uh, so far these two don't have it. And on the other side you have to see clearly, I can see one at least, a one or two. So I think I'm going to use my key card. And nothing here. So we're good. Open this. Great, that's one of the voting machines. Hack it when there's no one nearby. If they see what you're up to, things will get loud. Now, uh, you have to be careful. Now, be careful which door will open or close. There's a key card here, one in the locker room. Okay, we got our key card here and our thing here. Ah, oh, shit. The machine is done. That should make the elephant happy. Now close up the crate and get going. Now, one of the downside, was that. which I already explained before, right now, about the burglar, I won't answer the pager a bit faster, so that second can actually get me killed or blow up my stealth. Command show, hack this. Alright, so he doesn't see it. Okay, I'm just gonna secure the money. So one more guard I kill will send a checkup guy, but I can still answer a couple of two more pagers. So I got an key card here, which I can open it on the other side. And of course, on this map, there's a lot more other parkour skills you can go around. Uh, one is jumping on that white truck to get into the windows on the second floor. Uh, I will show it. Right, let's see. Okay, we got free bags, it's so we don't need to buy a bag here. Okay, let's just walk all the way around the blue cop. Now you can now first. There are usually at least one door here that's open. And I think it's this one, so already right, got one here. Yeah, okay, that door is open, so I have to be careful. Alright, uh, let's see what about being spotted and not one of the guards see the Hacking machine being hacked because they will get spotted. Alright, since you're here, land on this platform here, just above the door. Now, land on this AC. Ooh, oh, hello. Oh! Oh, there we go. Ah oh, shit. My bone or press. No 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 no. Okay, good. Well, thank God for the uh pocket ACM. Of course the checker guy will be coming um around uh, I'm coming from the other side of this wall right here where I'm looking at. And he will ask um the control guy to open the uh the main gate. God damn it, okay. That's fine, we, at least we have one pager left. So, uh, yeah, jump here, jump on this AC vent, and make sure you have a little bit more room to jump on top, and of course, just like most trick, uh, try to make sure you jump while landing on the spot. Lock pick the window, and you're actually up here. Look for any, there's usually key cards here, one on the desktop. The security will be right here, one of the two spots, more key card here, and one right here. Luckily I got the other two at the other area level, so now same thing before. Look in the cages to see any boxes. I don't see any, okay I see one right here, and I see one. Watch out, card. Okay, just watch out. Watch out when you drop down. Alright, that'll be four. Yebem ti majku, što sporo ovo! 
Now, hacking the machines in the middle here is very risky. So I try to avoid it. And of course, avoiding getting sandwiched between the other guards. And also be careful when you're, of course, open the cages. Always have six cents and check around for at least 10 seconds. Okay, we got another one, so. Okay, this might be bad timing. He may walk and see it. If I'm lucky yeah, enough, that is. Hide oh, he might see it. Oh. Sorry, Control. I slipped on the button. Alright, last pager, and this is not good because I need one more. Okay, uh, it's now or never. Okay, maybe it's a little bit too late. Okay, like I got one in time. Uh, Sally. Ah, uh, shit. Well, too bad I couldn't do the whole thing stealth. But it should be enough. You know, I'm, I can't take all the bags, oh well. Just get a message from the elephant. Your bonus for keeping things clandestine has been... Oh well. Sad enough, Wait, I couldn't get all the gold. The but at least I took at least time. one. Even if an and I got the stealth bonus. So many buckets of shit out the mayor that she's finished. And the elephant? Well, his man is picking out new furniture well, for City Hall. Now you see there's you see that little bit of a second difference that I did not have the burglar perk deck to have the um if that guard did not see it um that body a second it really goes shows a fast paced game like pay to even in stealth uh one second can make an absolute major difference of success or failing. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, we're heading to a more difficult of the free day heist of the elephants. Framing frame. Until then, farewell and have a wonderful day everyone.